Hey everyone, Neki here. Sorry it's been a while since I put out a video, but uh, I've been quite busy. Uh, today, I'm going to go over some frequently asked questions. And uh, hopefully this will help some of you out there. I know that uh, there's a bunch of questions out there, but I'm going to cover a few of them today. So, uh, one very simple one is how do I leave a guild now when you're in a guild you'll see it's a it's a small button but up in the top left corner here is a quit guild option very simple uh, so that's how you leave the guild the next one on the list is how do I remove or withdraw a Pokemon from my party now that doesn't mean you know changing it from one to another that means just straight up taking it out of the party so what you do is you go to your team find the one that you want to take out of your party so let's say i want to take this ground on out i click on the ground on it brings up this where it shows your you know information on the ground on or whatever pokemon you're wanting to take out and then right under the portrait of the ground on it says withdraw and when you do that it frees up this slot and then when you put it back in then you'll have to put the equips and and whatnot back on the next one is where is the aid option so when you go to your team you go to form the aid section is right below where your deployed Pokemon are. And these are locked at specific levels, so you'll have to hit a certain level to add more and more, and you can have a total of six aid Pokemon. How do I get more Pokeballs? Okay, so this one is a little uh, hard because the amount of Pokeballs that you get, and especially in the beginning, is going to be rough. But one of the biggest contributors to getting Pokeballs is having friends. You can have up to 20 friends, and then if you auto-gift and you know give friends Pokeballs, uh, they'll see it in their log, and they might be more likely to gift it back. And then you'll have 20 uh, Pokeballs daily if they're active and they're giving you uh, Pokeballs back. For VIP 3, you get 13 Pokeballs daily. So regardless of what your friends do, you're going to have 13 every single day. You got to figure out how you want to manage the Pokeballs because if you just start throwing them at anything... Um, yeah, you're going to uh, struggle. You want to try and get at least... You, you can either go for Pokemon for shards uh, to buy um, for, you know, getting the Pokemon you want. Or you can go for the actual Pokemon. Uh, either way is fine. If you're a higher VIP, then you'll get more... Uh, Pokeballs daily so for me um, I'm VIP 12 and uh, I can get uh, 22 free uh, Pokeballs daily up to VIP 15 you get 25 so you just have to uh, work with that there other than that you can get pokeballs from uh, shops so if you go to your trials and then go to tourney is one of them uh, so if you go to the tourney uh, let's just sign up for this because it's in the way the point shop here uh, can have pokeballs in it that you can you know buy 
and another one is the world boss so if you're doing the world boss uh, daily then you can get pokeballs from here as well and then if you don't see any pokeballs you can spend some diamonds to refresh the other option is the arena shop called glory mall and from here if you don't see the pokeballs then yeah you would have to refresh until you can find them and buy them uh, so that's pretty much your best options at getting pokeballs another question here was how do i level faster so when you start out you're gonna uh, get your exp just from battling the boss here so this uh, pikachu uh, this angry pikachu here is your source of exp um you're also getting exp from uh oh why is that one x you're also getting exp from uh just letting it fight on its own but the higher the uh, boss you're on the more exp you'll start bringing in so try and push that as high as you can um if you can't go any further just try and work on building your team so that you can push it further than that so the other way is quick combat so you have quick combat here uh for vip3 quick combat you only get four attempts and then you you do use diamonds after the first free attempt um if you're a higher vip then you get more attempts so for me i'm vip 12 i get 13 attempts for each vip you are so i'm vip uh 12 that is 12 attempts plus the one free one so if i was vip 13 it would be 14 attempts uh, so if, if you are a higher VIP, then yeah, you can get more EXP out of it, but you're, you're spending diamonds to do so. So make sure that you're doing the uh, arena and the, the tourney to get more diamonds every day so that you can do this. And the last suggestion is to do the subway make sure that you're uh, completing this as much as possible if you are a higher vip you can push your vitality uh, which is another thing that i'll talk about uh, in one of the other uh, frequently asked questions the next question is how do I beat boss number 50 now this is one of the quest requirements as you're going through so like I said the angry Pikachu here is considered a boss and then your boss counter is right above that so you have to do this 50 times and then you'll get that quest out of the way it's just a weird big black angry pikachu with fire behind them the next question here is what's the best way to spend diamonds first you should be using them on the quick combat like i mentioned uh getting that exp and uh the fruits so that you can help level your pokemon as well plus it gives you gold and if you have the the cards the privilege cards the monthly pass and you know all that uh that will also contribute to what you're getting the other thing is as i mentioned earlier if you have the if you have a higher vip you can boost your vitality uh you have to spend diamonds to do so 
it goes up to a max of 100 vitality. I recommend if you do have a higher VIP to do so because you start out with 40. If you get more VIP, you can increase that. So let's say you've uh, used out all of your vitality points and then you go to you go to bed well when you wake up it's going to be capped at uh, 40 vitality however the more uh, vitality you have the uh, better it is for you to you know get that exp uh, because you'll have more attempts to do so you know vip is helpful if you're via if you're playing free you're just gonna have to deal with the cards that you've been given this is a pay to win game so yeah you're gonna get the extra attempts on uh quick combat you're gonna get the extra attempts on the subway as well uh another thing is if you do have a higher vip um you can spend diamonds here to uh, get more chances to do the maze for more shards and you know other resources so that's another thing that you can spend diamonds on I also suggest spending diamonds on the guild so if you're in a guild you own a guild whatever it is uh, you know come here spend your uh, diamonds this gives you the uh, guild points but it also helps the guild grow. The higher level uh, the guild is, the uh, higher that you can actually put your points into the uh, personal uh, tech, which will help grow your team. It'll help others too, but then you can use those guild points to get you some upgrade orbs if you need it. Mega evolution stones. I usually just spend what you know me personally. I usually when I start out I make sure to spend it on upgrade orbs some mega evolution stones I don't bother with anything else from that and then if you get high enough in guild level then you can unlock uh, buying riding manuals and feathers which I also purchase like that so spending diamonds on the guild will uh, benefit others as well as yourself I'm just gonna buy all that cuz you know I don't need mega evolution stones I didn't even need the upgrade orbs but yeah so that's another thing and then uh, like I said before make sure you join the the attorney here so that you can get uh, diamonds daily that'll help you now the last thing I'm gonna mention is if you still have more diamonds to spend after doing all of that and you're lacking on you know copies of you know your Pokemon to um, upgrade them to the next you know tier so you know, this Mewtwo's plus uh, 12. Uh, let's say I had this maxed out. Well, I sh do I have another? No, I don't have one to show you. But let's say I needed more copies of uh, the thing uh, to increase it. If you're going to spend any diamonds on Pokeballs, do not, please do not use it on Ultra Balls. They are 500 diamonds and they are most likely going to miss and that's a waste of your diamonds. Now, when you're uh, trying to get the Pokemon that you want, if it's a legendary, I'd say just go ahead, uh, give, your, give a couple shots with the, the regular Pokeballs. But if you're on your third attempt and you want it that much, use a Master Ball if you can afford it. Uh, that'll help you in the long run. Um, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. That's up to you. It's your choice. But don't 
ever do the Ultra Ball. It has a chance to work. However, there's also a, a, chan a good chance that it won't work. I've used many of these just trying to see what kind of ratio it is. And it's just, it's, it's horrible. So please don't do that. Now, the next question is, uh, when does the game reset? So if you're trying to uh, figure out what, when it's going to reset, um, so you can do all this stuff the next day, you know, uh, you've already done your maze for the day and you want to do it again. I, the game resets at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you'll have to figure out what that is for your time zone. Uh, another question is about the legendary dogs. So if you've unlocked it, you go to the city area, the legendary dogs will appear here. Now it says it at the bottom here, it is 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You have, you know, that two hour time frame to uh, go fight them and get the shards. Uh, the last question that I have on my list for this video is what is the best options to spend coupons on? Now it can vary depending on your budget. If you don't have a high budget then it's best to purchase static items and by static items I mean things that you know you're gonna get uh, so let's say you know you top up uh, the three dollars here and you get these dragon scales that's static you know you're gonna get what you paid for right so things like miracle seeds is a is a good option um, items for uh, the Greninja Tower is a good option uh, species evolution or guardian items are also good static purchase and get options the other things are well if you want to risk it you can but if, if, if you also have a bigger budget things like lucky egg and the scratch lotto are uh, some good options if uh, you want to go that route you can get some decent stuff if you've got you know good luck the um, there's another thing that comes around that is uh, called the festival funds now what you do on that is you take the coupons and you invest however many coupons you you get and then you get what you spent on it plus four, I, th I think it was four times the amount back after uh, a certain amount of days. So you, you put in an investment and then you get that and more back. So you can get more for your, your money, but you have to wait a little bit to get those back. Another thing that you could do with your uh, coupons is if your server is not like a big uh, high spender competitive server uh, the cross server tourney that comes along here and there um, you can spend a little bit so that you can get into the top 10 so you can get more of those resources otherwise just try and be super active so that you can attempt to get in the top 10 if not the unranked is sometimes, you know, decent, uh, but if you want to get higher than that, you want to get into the top 10, you could possibly put coupons into that. One of the things that is good and bad at the same time is the, the Z power crystals. Now, they are quite pricey and a while back they they were worth it because there wasn't many other options out there but it's up to you whether you want to try these or not uh they are quite pricey especially the last one here wanting 1888 uh coupons and uh 
yeah, I'm not about to spend that. I bought all the rest of them. But yeah, that, uh, that pretty much sums it up. If you have any other questions, leave them in the uh, comments below. And I'll try to get another uh, FAQ together. And I would also like to uh, give a shout out to Serena and Lucia who had uh, given some opinions and came up with some of these frequently asked questions that they've seen before. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.